gluten and mood disorders. I wanted to share with you a few wins that I've had recently with some clients who had come to me for some other reasons. We were looking at hormone balance, we were looking at working with that muffin top, that, um, that kind of challenge of losing that weight. And what they were also on was antidepressants and had been on it for years because they'd struggled with some you know, mood and low, low mild grade depression, but had, had been working with anti antidepressants. And in our, our shifting and changing on some of the food and different things that we were actually doing, one of the things we had done was actually removed gluten. And a byproduct of that was in this shift in this gut brain axis, which is something that is really key in our mood and something that we don't really think about in how our serotonin is primarily made in our gut. And as we stop to take away some things that are inflammatory, even if you don't have celiac disease or even if you eat bread and you don't have a gut issue and you don't feel bad or anything like that, it actually doesn't mean that you're not sensitive to gluten. And I'm on the camp that most people are. It's just a matter of the range of that. So for someone who's with celiac, obviously they're having like in a full immune response and there's, there's a breakdown in the microvilli. Like there's all sorts of complicated issues of which they can have no gluten. But for myself, for example, I'm able to eat gluten without having a reaction like that. And yet in my body, it doesn't work. It affects, I can tell it actually gives me some brain fog. Um, I can, I, I am very sensitive to it from a mood perspective. And so the fabulous thing was as we were working with balancing these hormones and shifting some of the foods that they were eating, they were able to get off their antidepressants. And it makes a lot of sense because in healing the gut, in taking away those things that are what I would call internal stressors, things that our body is reacting to all the time, and there's, there's different things and everybody has their own food sensitivities, but if gluten happens to be one of them or even the glyphosate that is um, impacting our food system and certainly impacting our gut microbiome, if we start to take that away, it gives the opportunity for that gut to heal. And as that gut heals, it goes back into balance. And as it goes back into balance, now all of a sudden you have this gut brain balance that happens and your mood starts to shift and you have this opportunity to actually just get yourself into that natural state of being, of well-being, that when we start taking away the things that are not working for us, the body has this brilliant way of going back into balance. So it's an opportunity to just really explore. You don't have to get testing on whether you're gluten sensitivity. What you can do is you can do uh, a full removal of it. And I always recommend, you know, in any kind of an elimination diet, take something out for four to six weeks. You can try it for a week and you may, may see how you feel. But when you take it out for an extended period of time and then you add it back in, you can see how your body actually reacts to that. So, so it's definitely an opportunity to do that. And like I said, I'm on the camp that I think that we can you know, our bodies can support it, but if you're having it all the time, it's something that's constantly being, um, you know, taken in your body and our bodies don't really do well with it. So, so uh, for me, it's not something I have to exclude totally, but I very much limit it and, and know that any time that I am doing that, it's not, you know, my body's having to actually deal with that reaction and, and with that. So, Fantastic, you know, news for people who um, are hoping to get off antidepressants and just don't really know where to go. Obviously, a first step is to really look at your diet and see what you can actually eliminate and get cleaner and add supports to um, just to, to help with that gut-brain connection. So I hope you give it a try, see how it works for you, and, and explore it. And it's easier than it, it seems, um, particularly since there are so many people who are sensitive. We have all kinds of food systems out there now that are gluten-free. So enjoy and still eat well and, and love your gut up. Have a wonderful day.